You know, when you look at your budget, when you're beginning to build, look at your, your entire budget. You don't need to wait until you have all the money before you start. another site update a number of things to talk about um, we are you know gradually planning our, our moving date as soon as we possibly can you know um, I've seen some comments that were suggesting Christmas I'm not sure where, where, that, where that came from we, we haven't actually said Christmas at all so but um, it's, it's coming soon and we are making gradual steps to uh, to get there in order to move in as quickly as we can now as part of that moving in process, again, just like I said in, in the, the video we did with Vanessa Camby. Oh yes, guys, if you haven't seen the video we have done with Vanessa Camby, I will put it in the video description. Okay, have a, have a watch that video. That gives you a lovely overview of, of our project and then sub subscribe to her channel as well. Uh, and actually click up here and I'll see if I can put it up there for you as well. It's a, it's a 53 minute video, but it's full of really, really good quality information for those who are building or those who want to build. That is Vanessa Camby. We had a collaboration with Vanessa Camby. It was really, really, really good. So now back to our uh, proposed moving in date. So we are making plans towards that. Like I said in the Vanessa Camby video, you know, when you look at your budget, when you're beginning to build, look at your, your entire budget. You don't need to wait until you have all the money before you start. Because I tell you what, if when I was presented with the BOQ, it, it was scary to be honest with you. But we had a certain amount of money. And we said, okay, let's just let's just start, and we, we, you know, you just start, and you keep on making money, you keep on going along as uh, uh, until you finish, right? If you're gonna wait for every to see all the hundreds of thousands of dollars or pounds in your account, then you will never start. Or when you start, the material cost will be, will be sky high, iron rods and everything are just ridiculous. Okay, so. Have faith and just begin. Now, so we want to move in again in the same principle. We don't every single thing does not have to be finished, but we need a, a certain minimum number of items that we have made a list of that need to be finished to allow us to move in. For example, let's take air conditioning. For example, some people live without air conditioning, so we don't need to install all the air conditioning before we move in. But we have we have decided to sell, to install about let's say four of them or so in the areas that we want like the kitchen, living room and, and bedroom four or five of them just bare minimum now the question is what do we do with the rest of them because if we look up at this wall here for example we've got these um, air conditioning pipes poking out now these two are the, are the, are the power cables okay one, of, one, one cable comes from the AC switch here okay that one is powered, powered there, so one of those cables will power the indoor unit and then the other cable will connect from the indoor unit to the outdoor unit which is on the ground outside to provide power to the air conditioning units. Now, this particular room will be one example where we do not or we will not be installing the AC unit on day one. So what are we going to do? We're not going to keep this hole looking disgusting. What we are going to do, we're going to use a, a local bond which is like um, quite a thick thick aluminium sheet, similar to what we use on our roof atrium, we'll, put, we'll make a box which will go around those pipes, we'll push the pipes into the wall, make a box that will go around, nail it into the wall, and then we will paint the box to match the final paint of the walls, okay? So there'll be a small box on the wall, you'll hardly see it because it matches the paint of the wall, that's what we're going to do, and in the future, whenever we're ready to put air conditioning in here, all we'll do, we'll come up here, unscrew the box, place the air conditioning, and then job done. Okay, so you don't have this horrible, so horrible holes where you are not installing the AC unit on day one. So this is what we, what I like to call a phased installation of the essential items that are required for us to move in. Okay, now other things that are going on in, in, in the construction at the moment I want to talk about is coordination. Always, always important coordination between the various trades. Let's walk to the beginning of the first floor staircase and I'll show you some couple of examples of what I'm talking about recently. Now, 
Now guys, an example of the coordination is let, let's look over here. So over here, right, we've got what is look what looks like a cat six cable. It's a cat six cable and we've got a, a a switch, a power switch. Now this power is the is the switch or the power that goes to the the roof motor which then automatically opens and closes uh, the access to the roof. Okay, now the brief in the beginning from the, uh, the, the if you like the gate provider to the previous electrician was to wire that motor directly to the distribution board and we will simply open and close the access door using a switch on this which will be connected to this plastic cable. But as you guys know, you know, previous electrician was a, a lord himself. So he did something different, okay? He wired from the distribution board via the switch to the motor, which is not a problem. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. All that means, all that means is when you, this switch will have to be, will have to always be on, okay? And then when we want to operate the motor, we will have to have another switch to switch this control, which will open and close the access hatch. Now, because of that sort of lack of coordination or, or misunderstanding, whatever it was, the new electrician now has to chisel this part of the wall. He's got to chisel this part of the wall, put another back box in here, then pass this cable through a new pipe in the wall with the back box and then put a switch there, okay? So we're gonna have another switch which will allow us to open and close the gates, okay? So that's an example of a lack of coordination between, a lack of coordination between trades that you need to be aware of. If you have a good project manager, hopefully to minimize uh, these issues or a, a good builder, whatever, hopefully minimizes. Well. I mean, this is not a big deal, really. I haven't got a problem with having another switch on the wall. No, no issues. Let's go on to the front balcony and I'll talk about the main gate itself. Now, guys, um, if we look at the main gate here, um, the main gate hasn't been installed yet, but again, that's one of the items that we need to install before we um, move in. Uh, and the installation of that main gate is it's actually on the floor there. You can just see that black gate line on the floor. It's been lying there for a while. It's made of galvanized steel. And um, one of the coordination issues there, we're gonna have to have the welder around that day, uh, along with the automated gate provider so that they can come together and understand the exact height of the gate, understand exactly where the motor needs to be, you know, the, the, the motor is connected to a slider and that slider needs to be at the bottom of the gate. So it needs to be the right height and the slider also must not impede the, the pedestrian access as well, the main gate, because the main gate is the big double gate, but there's a pedestrian access to it as well. So those two trays need to be on site and be talking to each other to make sure that goes perfectly and we have a, the correct installation that we need. So again, PM would enforce that, in, in this case it's me, which is fine, um, but another example that, um, another example of the, the essence or importance of communication. Very, very, very important. So guys, uh, another uh, aspect of coordination or really sequence of works. So we put, we put the lighting in, all right? And you can see that there are, there are some holes around the light fittings, okay? Simply because initially where the, the hole was put, it wasn't, it wasn't quite symmetrical. So the electricians measured up and made sure it was in the right position, which is absolutely fine. Uh, there's also a hole up there which was made by mistake in the, in the POP. Okay, now that is absolutely fine because we've only done stage one of the POP. Stage two of the POP will happen shortly. In that stage two, what happens is uh, there'll be the skimming. The skimming and if like, I think they call it on. Andre or something, okay? And in that process, they will fill up all these, all these holes, all these gaps around the light fittings and everything. And before they skim all the columns, they'll skim all these columns. All, all of this will be skimmed, right? All of that will be skimmed. Everywhere will be skimmed before the house itself is, is painted, okay? Now, somebody else asked me, oh, why am I installing the light fittings now? You can install it now or you can install it later. We chose to do it now. Now, when the painting, when the house is being painted, what you do is you, you use masking tape. You use masking tape around all the sockets. You use masking tape around the lights, okay? So for example, around here, 
to keep our, our chrome finish nice and shiny. We'll put masking tape, a couple of layers of masking tape all around the edge before they skim and paint the walls so that they don't, if you like, soil the, the sockets or the light fittings themselves. Okay, so that's one to bear in mind. Again, it all depends on, you know, your own sequence of works, what you want to do. If you, if you decide to do the, the painting before you put the lights up, that is fine as well. That is absolutely fine as well. Maybe even ideal, but either way, you can do it either way, depending on your own, your own urgency and your own sequence of work, depending on when you want to move into your house, let's say, okay? Guys, uh, again, I talked about, um, we're not putting in the ceiling fans yet, okay? Because that's not essential to moving in. So where we have the fan controllers on the wall, we're going to put, uh, if you like, electrical face plates, electrical face plates so that you don't see the hole in the wall, for example. And that, you know, just, just, just to make it look neat. When we're ready to do the fan installation, obviously we'll take the face plate off, the fan switch controller will go on the wall, and the fan itself will be installed. All the cables are in there, so there's no issues with that. Okay, um, let's look at behind here as well. So this switch here, that switch on the wall is, is for a mirror light and, that, and, that's, and that's the cable, okay? So again, we will push that in, okay? And put a face plate on it. Once we are ready to install the, the actual mirror, okay? We, we will remove the face plate. This cable will connect directly to the mirror and then the mirror itself will have a, a light within it, which is, which is quite nice, those, those type of mirrors. If you've, if you've seen them before, um, so what do we have to do next? We, um, if we look outside this window, obviously you can see the security hat there. We're going to, we're going to paint it to so that it lasts as long as possible. Oil paint, a bit of emotion paint that will be done soon to match the intended color of the house itself. Okay, uh, the carpenter is going to sort that out for me, which is great. And I have to say, you know, Things happen for a reason, and you know, I, I give honor, I give glory to the Most High Yehovah. You know, uh, it's been a blessing to have this new electrician because the other day, again, yet again, we we're looking into the distribution board. This is another thing. If you're building in Ghana, it, it is, it, again, I'm not going to be general because not everybody is like that, but obviously, micromanage, unfortunately, don't like to do it, but you need to, and don't necessarily, don't necessarily take everyone's word for what they say. Check, check, check. Anybody who's building in Ghana, all right, I appreciate what I'm talking about. Don't just take people's word for what, for the, oh, we've done it, it's finished. Check and be happy with yourself that what they say is actually what they've done. Now, so a couple of days ago, we went to investigate the distribution board and we found that the, the, the air conditioning, all right, and some of the light fittings have been wired to the RCBOs instead of the sockets. Why? The RCBOs are there for the sockets mainly because the sockets are the areas of risk of electric shock, not air conditioning, lighting, which was pretty annoying. So thankfully, uh, the new electrician, I got him to, you know, to rearrange everything to exactly what I want. So it's been, a, in some ways, it's been a blessing to have a new electrician to, to look over things and be able to spot a few, a few inconsistencies and a few uh, situations that could be problematic in the future. But I gave glory to God that that has been resolved now, okay? Um, regarding the, 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 land, the, the latch right, so we've got a couple more trips to go before we finish the, you know, the entire uh, area. The next stage is we need to hire a compactor. Um, not sure how much that costs. I think I've been told about 500 cities. Then there's a transport element as well. So we bring a large compactor tra track which will compact the entire landscape. After the compacting, some areas will be depressed and you may need an, another trip to raise it up again. You know, after that, after the compacting, then we'll, we need to go for something called query dust, which uh, again, I'll show you when we get there, we'll be sprinkled on, on the surface of the last right. You know, we'll be doing a, a curb block border to separate the unoccupied plot from, if you like, the, the plot we'll, we'll be living on. Uh, we'll also do some, some, some block curves for, for um, crystals or our flower, sort of flower beds in various areas, which would be nice as well as all part of the landscaping theme that's gonna come along in the future. Um, again, you don't have to finish the landscaping before you move in, so we'll do the bare minimum, we'll move in, and then 
sort of design the landscape in ourselves and then uh, you know manage the process or micromanage the process through to a successful completion now people have been asking me oh what are you going to do when when the house when you finish and you move in you know in terms of your youtube channel guys we have tons and tons and tons of videos listed that i haven't even had time to prepare you know we're focusing on site updates because it's, it's just easy we were on site almost every day it's just easy to do but there's loads and loads and loads of videos that i have, I have stacked up to do for you guys so you know way way way, way after we move in there'll still be lots and lots of videos to come uh, in terms of construction and other topics that uh, we intend to deliver if you read our about section you know more about it um, for example you know we, we have a video coming up hopefully in the future about you know some, give you some tips about how to wire your house if you're an American diaspora and you want to have 110 volts in your house as well as 220 230 volts you know I have a video on that as well giving you some tips uh, in, in that regard I have another video of you know of how to actually wire your home you know the, the size of the cables and the list is, is, is long it's a long 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 list so there'll be much much more many many videos even after way after we have moved in you know Crystal's gonna have a a lot of series of videos regarding you know our farm area and what we're going to do with the unoccupied plot so we're going to be here for quite quite a while quite a while so we hope you stick with us and uh, enjoy enjoy the education that our channel offers our channel is all about education that's all that's all we're about uh, when it comes to recommending trades i only really recommend the ones that i really really trust you know if you ask me a trade and i'm not responding you have to read between the lines because it's been a headache it's been a serious headache, hence I've not recommended them because one, I don't want to recommend somebody and then later on say, oh, you recommended me and you did a crap job. No. You know, we are a channel of education. It's best to, to find your own trade people. I do recommend some who I know are good. Definitely, I do I do, do that. Um, but it's not easy. Let's just put it that way. It is not easy at all. Um, so I recommend where I can, where I feel it, it, that the person is worth that recommendation. And also, Bear in mind, you know, obviously, Asher and Gat take no responsibility for any trades we may recommend, you know, if we do, uh, because just, case, just because somebody has done an excellent job, an excellent job for us doesn't guarantee that they will do an excellent job for you. It's up to you to assess them, assess other trades, okay, assess their prices, look at their previous work, and make your own choice, okay, because there are so many factors that come into play that uh, contribute to a successful project and a successful uh, delivery of whatever aspect of your house that you're, you're, you're talking to, that you're, you're referring to. All right, so awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video from Ashley and Gad. As usual, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button so you always be aware when we upload an educational video for your viewing pleasure. All right, guys, so from you, it's Guys, Yebeshia. See you next time.